Welcome to My Tax Prep Office. In this video, you will learn how to add and complete a Schedule C. Also, you will learn how to add a 1099 miscellaneous to a Schedule C. First, open a return. Select Add Form at the top left corner. You can simply type the letter C in the field, and the Schedule C form option will appear. Click Schedule C to open the form. As with any form, you must complete all required fields which are indicated by the red boxes. First, you will choose who the form belongs to. If the taxpayer is married filing jointly, you will have the option to choose taxpayer, spouse, or joint. For our purposes, we will choose taxpayer. Next, you will need to select the principal business or profession. You can do so by clicking the red box and selecting the correct code. Field A will then populate with the correct information. If the business address is the same as the home address, you can simply click this checkbox and the address will auto-populate below. If it is not the same, you will not need to check the checkbox. Instead, you will enter the address information manually. Choose your accounting method. If you choose other, you must specify the other method here. Continue completing all the required fields. In the Income section, you can add statements in line 1A and 1B. Simply click the green plus sign to add the amount. For example, we can add $200 in line A with the description as cash. Once this is entered, you will notice that the amount has been generated in the yellow box. If you would like to delete this amount, simply click the red X. A box will appear asking you to confirm that you would like to delete the selected statement. Part 2, Expenses, is where you can add any additional expenses for the business. To add expenses, you can enter the amount in the black box, or using the green plus sign. For example, advertising using flyers could be $100. Under Office Expenses, we can add paper for $100. You will notice that the amounts have generated above and the box is now yellow. Once this is complete, locate lines 27 through 29 to see the total number of expenses and profit. Continue working through each section, filling in all appropriate fields. Be aware of all required sections indicated by the red boxes. Keep in mind that you can manually enter amounts in the black boxes, or use the green plus sign to add additional statements. Once added, the amount will automatically populate in the yellow box. Complete the remaining sections in the Schedule C. If you would like to add a 1099 miscellaneous, locate line 1B and click on the three dots to the left of the field. Click Create a 1099. A box will appear that allows you to link the 1099 to the correct form, which in this case is the Schedule C. Click Add. Once you click Add, you will see the 1099 miscellaneous form. Here, you can see that this form belongs to the Schedule C, and it is associated with the taxpayer. In this first section, you are required to enter the payer information. You can enter the federal identification number here, and if it is already in the EIN database, it will autofill the payer information for you. The recipient information is already complete. Moving down on the form, you will see where you can enter the amounts manually. For example, I will go to line 7, non-employee compensation, and add $3,000. After this, I can click the back button at the top of the form to go back to the Schedule C. Here, you can see the 3000 was carried over from the 1099 to the Schedule C. This amount will auto-populate in the appropriate fields in the Schedule C, as you can see here. This amount will also carry over into the 1040. So once you are finished with the Schedule C, click on 1040 in your forms list. Here, you will see that $3,000 has been added successfully to Form 1040. 
This completes the training video for how to add and complete a Schedule C, as well as how to add a 1099 miscellaneous. Thank you for watching.